Hello everybody. This is not my typical video. This is not a knife video. So if you're expecting knife content, why you can click off right away. That's okay. I try not to mix politics in with my channel. I named it Knife Delights because I get delighted by knives and collecting them and all of that. But uh, you know, I try to keep the channel upbeat and cheerful. But there's certain times when I just feel like I have a responsibility uh, you know God has blessed me with this wonderful platform and there's times when you just got to speak up about certain things and what I want to talk about is the unfolding constitutional crisis potential and I'm trying not to use hyperbole but we do have a situation brewing right now down in the state of Texas concerning uh, the border enforcement and again, it could potentially be one of the well, one of the biggest constitutional crises that uh, I've seen in my lifetime. What I want to talk about, I don't want to talk about the issue of immigration or the issue of what should or shouldn't be done at the fence. But rather what I want to talk about is those men and women that are going to be being placed in, uh, well, a rather precarious position. So just a brief highlight here, the state of Texas had a stretch of their border that they uh, placed razor wire there in order to uh, stop the flow of immigrants coming across. The Biden administration took the state of Texas uh, to court. The Supreme Court removed a stay that had been in place. Now a stay had been put in to allow Texas to continue what they were doing but the uh, Supreme Court removed that state. And this is my understanding of this. The Supreme Court did not rule on any of the merits. Actually, I don't like to use the word rule. They did not decide about the stay on the merits of the case. They just removed the stay so that the issue could be brought up through the, the normal appellate process. So it's not like they ruled, if you will, in favor of the Biden administration. They just removed the stay so that, you know, the, the issue could follow its normal course through the courts. So what is what has developed is the governor of Texas has placed the Texas National Guard in and around this section where they have the barbed wire. The president had told the governor that he had until sometime today, and it's, it's around 12 p.m. January 26, 2024, when I'm recording this, that they had till today to, you know, vacate the area and allow federal agents to go in and remove the wire. Governor Abbott has decided, no, he's leaving his National Guard in place, and so now there's a potential for a showdown, and that's what I want to talk about. This potential showdown, which could lead into, you know, at worst, it could lead to some bloodshed. And we want to avoid that at all costs. As a 20-year veteran and uh, almost 18 years as a peace officer, you know, we, we swear oaths, and we have to stand up to those oaths. But situations like this can really put you in a precarious position. We have the potential of, you know, state National Guard having to face off with federal agents. That's where the powder, the powder cake is. It only takes one nervous agent or one nervous guardsman to to fire off a shot or even accidentally discharge their weapon. And of course, then the bloodshed could ensue. This is what we want to avoid, and that's the topic of this video, I guess, is let's pray for the men and women. Let's pray for, well, I've always been told that reasonable men would come to reasonable uh, conclusions, make reasonable decisions. So let's pray for those who are in the decision-making process that, uh, they approach their decision with reasonableness. 
it's difficult. I know it's very easy to shout out or say to the men and women in the guard or the men and women with the federal agents, well, honor your oath. Well, that's easy to say. That is easy to say. It's very difficult to carry that out. Especially if you have a standoff. Standoff. What do you do? It's not easy, folks. Don't take this lightly. To further put more powder cakes in the situation, there are people that are demanding or encouraging, demanding, telling, advising, whatever word you want to use, the president to federalize the Texas National Guard. That way they would be under his control. So that even adds more powder here. Now a guardsman isn't choosing whether they follow the directions of the federal agents or they follow the orders from their governor, who while they're Texas National Guard, the governor would be their commander in chief. If the president does federalize them, now they have to make a decision do I follow my new commander-in-chief, my new chain of command, or do I refuse to obey my new commander-in-chief, meaning the president? Again, it's very easy to sit back and armchair quarterback and say, well, just do this and just do that. Folks, we need to pray for them. We need to pray for all of these men and women involved in this situation. We do not, I repeat, we do not want bloodshed. We do not want any violence of any sort. I've always been proud to say, well, with the exception of the War of the Rebellion in 1861, for the most part, we've always been able to settle our, our differences at the, battle, at the ballot box. You have a right to vote. Exercise that right have a presidential election coming up here in November. That's the other part of the powder cake. Even though things may settle down at the Texas border today and tomorrow through this election process, I think things are going to really heat up. Really heat up. Remain calm. Remember God is in control. Let us pray. We don't need to resort to well, what Chairman Mao said. Chairman Mao said all politics begins at the end of a gun barrel. We don't need that philosophy. We need the citizens of this nation to stand up and start fulfilling their responsibility. We all like to say we're in a constitutional republic. We all like to tout that we know our rights. But do we know our responsibilities? Part of being in a constitutional republic Republic means we as citizens have to be active. We have to participate. You can't fail to vote and then complain about who was elected. You have to get involved in the political process. And I know it's ugly and it's easy to be cynical and it's easy to say, oh, they're just a bunch of thieves and crooks. Well, you just allow them to be even bigger thieves and crooks if you don't get involved, if you don't participate. So I just wanted to leave you with some food for thought here. I wanted to bring this situation to your attention. Uh, God bless America. God bless you, all the viewers. And if you would, or if you feel that you agree with some of the things, the points I'm making here, why please share this video. It's time for us as citizens to do the very basic responsibility, fulfill our, our responsibility by praying for our nation. God bless everybody. And I will be doing a lot of praying here in the next few days. Hopefully this situation will resolve itself peacefully. Thank you.